We've entered all the names into a random generator, and we picked this month's winner. This month's winner is Diane Vega. You can claim your prize, and you have one week to do so by emailing craig at hacking-spirituality.com. Congratulations. And for everyone else, please stay subscribed and hit the bell notification and stay tuned for the next time we do another monthly drawing. Happy New Year's, Gemini. This is Craig from Hacking Spirituality, and I'm here to do a general reading on the zodiac sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, I'm going to pull three cards on a general energy of how you're going to be entering 2021, and let's see what happens here. Let's see where the cards take us. What does Gemini need to know right now, Spirit? What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? Ace of Swords, you may be dealing with some sort of documentation or some sort of document entering this year. Uh, could be legal contracts, uh, as well as contracts, legal papers, or possibly um, divorce papers. Anything involving major contracts are actually going to be in a thing with you this year. Let's go ahead and pull one more. King of Cups, so you could have been involved with the water sign possibly, or someone who was withholding some sort of emotion or not displaying their full emotions to the fullest. Um, you could actually be dealing with one that could actually be a partner of yours as well. Let's go ahead and pull you one more card. Nine of Cups. So there's going to be some sort of wish fulfillment in the end of all of this. So um, if you have anything going on as far as contracts or anything like that, it looks like things are actually going to be playing out to your favor. Let's go ahead and pull uh, three clarifiers over these three cards. Why is the Ace of Wands Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Three of Cups. Yeah, still another reason to celebrate. Three of Cups is all about celebration, good times. So whatever you're dealing with contract-wise is actually going to be extremely beneficial to you this year. And I do believe a lot of these contracts are going to play out to your favor this year, Gemini. Let's go ahead and see why the King of Cups is here. Why is the King of Cups here for Gemini? King of Cups here for Gemini. Two of Wands. So this may have been like a choice in the past with this person. I do believe it's a person because it's a court card showing up. I feel like um, you may have not known which way to go with this person in the past. And there was actually like a need to make a choice and uh, center yourself. And I believe that's actually kind of leading to the wish fulfillment following that card. Let's go and see why the Nine of Nine of Cups is here. Why is Gemini getting its wish fulfillment? Why is Gemini getting its wish fulfillment this year? Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Fool. So this is some, um, actually your wish fulfillment is some sort of brand new start, new beginning in life. Um, it's going to be very beautiful. It's going to lead you into a place where you feel like your wishes and dreams are coming true. So I feel like maybe you were stuck not knowing which way to go in the previous year. And moving forward in this year, you're actually going to take a leap of faith that's going to lead to some sort of wish fulfillment. Now, this could be anything from starting brand new relationships or starting some sort of brand new career that's going to bring you a lot of happiness this year. Between celebration, nine of cups showing up, um, there's definitely a lot to celebrate this upcoming year. And I really look forward to doing your next reading, Gemini. Gemini.